Hey guys, hope you're all doing well today. Well, if you follow me on the last adventure I had last weekend, we got rained out, so the hiker needed a bath. Some parts of Michigan seen 8 to 10 inches of rain, so it was a pretty crazy storm. But every time we get back and we reevaluate from week to week, weekend to weekend, what equipment we wanted, needed, don't need, and look at what upgrades we can do, things we can add to add value to our trailer. So one of the things we started thinking about with all this rain we had is some entertainment. Adding an iPad mount inside our trailer. So that was next on the project list. So there's a million different iPad mounts out there, but we, on the end, picked RAM. Uh, it's a USA company, proud to support them, and they make great products. I've had their products in the past. So we started out with sending a picture of the area we were going to mount the iPad mount to RAM, and they gave us suggestions and gave us a parts list of things we can consider, should consider, for mounting the iPad inside the hiker. So one thing I really like about RAM is their their setups are all modular, so you can make them longer, shorter. Um, there's multiple adjustment points. So as you can see here, there's some assembly acquired. They have great directions that are online. Follow along. Our iPad has like a little case cover, and because of that, they recommended this tight. Um, this one has kind of an expand out clamp on the one side, a clamping arm, and this tab tight HD just works really, really well for our uh, application with our iPad. With having it so modular and being able to kind of build it as you're designing the system, is once you get it, we originally got a 7 inch arm. And then we decided we needed to get it extended out into the trailer just a little bit more for where we wanted to mount it. So we ended up ordering a 3 inch arm to add on to that, which gives us extra mounting points. And it's an infinite way of how you can mount this once you get it in. That's almost uh, a little overwhelming. We just constantly are fidgeting, fidgeting, fidgeting with it, trying to figure out exactly where we wanted it, how we wanted it, how we wanted to have everything usable for the space we had, be able to access our switches for our lights inside and our exterior lights, the switches were there. And then all we had to do is take the mount and run a few tap screws in and it's done. So the few of the things that we considered were we didn't want it, the mount to be to the far left or to the far right of the trailer. We didn't want to have to hit the, tra the uh, mount as we're entering the trailer. We wanted it to be in the center of the trailer and not hit it with our shoulder or anything like that, having it too low. So that's why we added the extra 3 inch, so we could get it just a little bit higher. We also wanted access, full access to the USB ports up top, so we could run a charging cord to it and keep it charged up. We wanted access to the switches, and we had to make sure that the handles were on the both the same sides. So I will say the RAM system's not the cheapest out there. But once you invest in the system, you can expand it at any time. It gives it a nice clean look, short little cable run. And if you didn't like it this low, there's a couple options we might do if we don't care for it this low. We might try, and that is to go three inch ball down to the plate. Take this plate, move it here, and actually put it right here in this area. But then, during travel, if you take this whole arm off, so it's not vibrating around and stuff, um, you might have issues with, some people might not want the um, plate with the ball mounted right here all the time looking at you. The other thing we thought of when we mounted it, just to hold it up here, is to put the ball mount here and then have the three inch out and the iPad would sit about this height, but then it's blocking your ports, which is not a huge deal. You can get it probably far enough away, but the issue we had with that is um, you'd have to get it far enough away that you can still access your ports and not have an issue with having the USB stick out, you know, a good fair distance away. So one of the things to consider with this system is you have the twist handles and we decided to put both of them on the same side. You could put them the opposite if you wanted. Not a huge deal, but just something to consider. So we got them both facing the uh, 
driver's side. So as you can see here, here's a little nighttime setup with a USB um, computer light that I put above it so I could see the controls. One of the viewer questions I got was, how did I replace my voltage meter so it's not bright shining in the middle of the night and has like a cover or you could turn that voltage meter off? So if you'd seen some of my previous videos, I put in a quick charging 3.0 plug in the center. And I really like it because it has an on-off switch. So I can turn it on, turn it off, and I can also see the uh, voltage through the cover of the actual unit itself. So when I turn it on, I can see the voltage, I turn it off, um, I can use that off mode for nighttime, which works really, really good. So when you get your hiker, if you have it mounted in the center here, that's what we requested. All the wiring's exposed, you can get to the connections. But the best thing to do is just to pull a faceplate cover off. So there's four screws, then the wires are long enough, they can feed through. As you can see here in this picture, all I had to do was unthread the nut behind that center one, and the whole thing backs off. You obviously pull the red and black wire off, the two crimp connectors and it slides out the front it's that easy you slide the new one in you run the nylon nut back down and you plug in your wires and you're good to go just make note on the back there's a positive negative so make sure you get those correct and that's it you put it back together run your four screws back in and you're good to go and you've got a nice light that you can turn on and off for your voltage meter So those, those are the two things I changed on my hiker this week. I've got some other changes I'm going to do with interior lighting coming up. If there's any other videos you guys would like to see, put it down in the comments. Um, I also have been requested to do a full detailed trailer walk around. If you guys would like to see that, be a little bit on the long side, go through every nook and cranny of the trailer, let me know. So with that, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Get out and do some camping.